all right guys now i'll be replacing these turn signal lenses all right they're brand new they should come with new bulbs as well so i'm gonna change these because mainly this side is cracked so i want to change both of them so i got the pair and it's pretty simple to change them you literally just go in here all right so and then there's that clip you just have to squeeze and push out it's pretty simple so you literally just squeeze this like that and push out and then disconnect the connector install your new lens easy never mind so i actually have to install new bulbs because these ones came with nothing and the connector is actually different than the factory connector so that's why i'm just gonna install new bulbs and uh, install the lens all right we're gonna reinstall the gas pedal right here i cleaned it all up nicely and then i looped up uh, both upper and lower parts right there so just gonna go ahead and install this baby it's really simple just gotta attach these two let's see uh, what happened why do i suck at this gas pedal reinstalled don't forget the clip clip goes on the bottom here like so so here's the brand new transmission mount i'll be installing and yeah i'm about to crawl underneath and jack up the transmission a little bit and replace that thing the old one is really bad so you can see how bad this transmission mount is probably never been changed i jacked up the transmission already and it's easy just two bolts and one nut on top all right so i jacked up the transmission all the way i'm gonna take out this old mount let's see so maybe i have to jack it up some more This is this has to be definitely original. All right, guys, that is it. Everything is reinstalled. Transmission mount, all the bolts, and I also cleaned up the area a little bit here. So looks really good. Now I have to replace a couple of uh, uh, muffler exhaust rubber mounts, and. Uh, yeah it's actually pretty easy and i have my jack right there ready with the rubber pad to do it all right so here's how i did these mounts so this i uh, put two new rubber mounts on the muffler and i also just add a couple of zip ties in the future just in case something decides to you know rip right here and then the exhaust is not gonna fall off it's just like a secondary safety so i just took off the uh, visor i'm going to be cleaning it fixing it i got to clean some of this area uh, then um, i'm going to remove this pillar trim i have to clean it and i have to glue it together it's coming off right there a little bit cluster is currently being uh, rebuilt uh, and refreshed uh, also have to probably gonna take this out i want to clean this a little bit it's pretty nasty same that i don't want to take care of that visor as well lots of work still left to do took some of this stuff out this is all gonna be cleaned up detailed all right guys so there's a bunch of stuff i took off already okay because i need to clean all this stuff and make it nice so everything here is coming out i'm also replacing this um, ignition lock cylinder so i'm about to pull it pull this guy out it's already loose all right I just have to remove this trim piece right here together with it. Be careful. 
hopefully. That's all there is to it. Sweet. I'm going to be cleaning all this stuff up. And I have a new tumbler right there with two keys. Okay, so slowly but surely making this thing amazing. So I removed a bunch of stuff here. I also removed this pillar trim because I have to re-glue it right there. Somebody wasn't nice with it. So that's going to get fixed. There's a bunch of stuff that I'm doing to this car. I removed the visor on this side, and that one's gonna get removed. Uh, we're also replacing all the bulbs here where the vents are. I'm gonna replace all of them, and probably the shifter bulb as well, just so all the lights are working. And I have to also replace the bulb in the climate control. Well, I just glued this one together and uh, using this tape to help it, you know, you know just kind of cure the glue in place so hopefully it's good <laughs> after that so i waited 24 hours and removed all the tape here after gluing it and i'm just super sad with the results it didn't come out like i wanted it to sadly so i don't know what i'm gonna do it's a lot better obviously but i don't like it i don't know I don't know what I'm going to do. I might just leave it as is. It is what it is. I mean, I tried. And then I also sanded this uh, ignition lock cylinder bezel. I'm going to be repainting and making it nice. Okay, while the carpet is drying, I'm gonna be cleaning the area right here. Another thing to watch out for is this is the drain for the evaporator. Make sure it's good and not disintegrated. Otherwise, if uh, you're using IC, you can have just water leaks inside of your car. Also, just uh, so you know, I had this uh, accelerator pedal, uh, had it out and I was actually lubricating everything. There's grease right there. Also gonna lubricate those with automatic transfer, all the bushings and stuff. Also changing this automatic trans bulb. Uh, like I said, I was I'm using these ones. Hella 2721. And this one is probably original. It's really easy to change it. And pop new one in. Like that, and then literally goes on the Underneath, right there, it just goes right in. All right, so the bulb is in. Um, now I gotta try to clean this mess right there inside the shifter boot. There's a bunch of dirt in there. Somebody like spilled something, or I don't know. It's gotta make it nice. It's gonna take a little bit. Now I'm taking the climate control out, uh, and it's actually not original, somebody has been here before. But uh, I want to change two bulbs inside of this, it's really important, you know, one of them is burnt out. And I don't know, maybe in the meantime I'll go ahead and resolder all the, all the cold solder joints, I don't know yet. I mean, it's it's working, the climate, climate control is working, but I haven't tested it fully, I mean... Um, yeah, so I don't know. Uh, we'll see what happens. I mean, I'm not too worried about it, but I just mainly wanted to change these bulbs and, you know, clean up some of this stuff. There it is. Now I'm just going to take it apart, change those bulbs, and probably um, resolder all those joints on the circuit board. Now I'm going to take out this uh, center vent assembly. I'm going to power wash it, clean it, and replace the bulb that's in there. So here's the center vent assembly, took it out. There's multiple like clips right here broken, like this is right here, this is one of them. But everything is still good, still intact. Um, and I just have to change this bulb and this one seems to be really complicated, so I have to figure it out. So to take this bulb out, you just have to grab like long needle nose pliers and pull on this plastic 
center piece of this and just pull straight out and it will it will come out so now as you can see i can change this bulb easily same type of bulb all right new bulb is installed and before i install uh, actually good idea to actually check it before you install the center piece back together but and I have everything apart and you need to have a cluster connector to in, uh, connect it in order to check all these bulbs. But uh, what I'm going to do is just clean all this stuff up, power wash this and uh, make it nice, let it dry and then reinstall everything back. The same clean this area right here, make it good. All right, guys, so we're continuing to work on this amazing machine. There's a lot of stuff that it took apart and it's gonna, all going to be getting cleaned up and everything. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm currently fixing up my cluster and doing all the other stuff. There was nothing wrong with the cluster. I just, wanna, um, I just wanted to uh, make it nice and clean and all that and repaint the needles too. So and also all these bulbs for the clamp control. I... They're going to be working and amazingly, just like it, they did from the factory. All right, so this one already loosened it, so I can go ahead and carefully take it out. I might have to lower. You see those clips? There's one, two, three, and four. You have to squeeze them kind of towards each other like that, and then this will pull out. Be really careful, take your time, don't break anything. If it's not going, don't force it. And this one is also gonna get cleaned up and I have to change the bulb on that side, okay? All right guys, I washed this thing, cleaned it up and made it really nice. Changed this bulb out as well. So that bulb is replaced and I'm ready to install it back.